One hundred six point seven W I Z N. It's Blue Oyster Cult and Burner for you. Heard Tom Petty before that. I'm Joe Vega here with you in your Wednesday rock and ride home. I got Ben Barry on the phone right now from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Hello, Ben. Joe, how are you? I'm good. So, uh, WCAX reporting that uh, Vermont Attorney General T.J. Donovan is suing an online company accused of collecting billions of images of people's faces across uh, social media platforms. And I was just wondering if you could maybe explain this lawsuit to us a little bit. Sure. Um, For one, facial recognition software, which is at issue in this suit, is a significantly emerging field in IT technology. And we will see nationally a lot of litigation, similar to the litigation that's been taken up by A.G. Donovan, where data mining, basically Vermont is saying, hey, listen, this private company has exceeded what the law allows in terms of obtaining this data and then using this data, ultimately selling it to other parties um, for a lot of reasons, consumer tracking primarily, but it could also be for other nefarious reasons as well. The reality is there's a lot of companies that are are gathering this data from Facebook and all of these other sources and compiling the data and basically making user profiles. I would, um, for your listeners, Joe, I would draw their attention for a very good read, I think, very juicy, uh-huh. um, from the Vermont ACLU that deals with a very similar issue that Vermonters had with the Department of Motor Vehicles. The ACLU in May of 2017 issued a memo to the Vermont DMV who was also using facial recognition technology okay. and providing images to the FBI and other federal agencies. It's a very good read. It sort of wow. sets the stage for what we're dealing with now. Two totally different laws. The DMV law that was being violated and brought to the attention of the DMV by the ACLU is found in a different chapter than the commerce and trade law, which T.J. John Donovan is now using against this private firm. Gotcha. But very similar issues. It goes to the heart of facial recognition technology and the amassing of data based on your own facial features. Very interesting. I think a lot of your listeners would be interested to read about this and kind of get a better idea of what's at stake and some of the harms that can come to regular average citizens who happen to look like somebody else. Wow. And where would they find this uh, this article? If you Googled ACLU Vermont letter to DMV commissioner, um, you'll find it. it. It's very good. I'm sure you could contact the American Civil Liberties Union of Vermont um, to get a copy of it, but it's a very good read. And again, it kind of sets the stage and is really kind of a sibling to what is going on right now with the article that you cited. All right. Well, thank you very much. Ben Barry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Thank you, Joe. You, of course, can call Ben at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. All right, I'm out of here. More classic rock on the way. Ozzy, Guns N' Roses, and ZZ Top next.